everybody. So this on my head is a slide board. And what we're going over today is what this is and how I use it specifically. So recently it's come to my attention that some people might not know what a slide board is. And that makes entirely too much sense because of the fact that unless you have a disability or something that makes it hard to move, you may not need to use one of these. Uh, when it comes to being a paraplegic, sometimes you need help to move. There are those who have enough ability in their ab abdomens who can just lean forward and scoot onto a bed or a chair or something else. In my entire eight years of being a paraplegic, I have not been able to do that. I use this guy. So. A slide board basically it's exactly what the what you say it is uh, you use it for putting it under your leg or your bottom and then you basically grab onto something on the other side of where you want it to go and then you scoot and so basically this guy is a little bit like my best friend he he she is also referred to as a transfer board and I think there's another name for it but I can't really remember. Uh, they also at hospitals have these very very big ones so they like go the length of a bed and so when you can't move they will just roll you over put this big thing under you with the sheet that you have on the bed with you and then slide you over in order to well slide and go get tests or whatever. They also have something called a Hoyer lift, which I will be putting a picture right here. It basically what you do is it, it's this kind of like a sling, I would say. It goes under your body and when you this metal thing goes over the bed and it lowers down, attaches to this sling, and then you go up and then you swing kind of like a swing and then go over and then get lowered into your chair I've only used that a couple of times when my health was really bad into like the second to third year of being a player plegic and so today I just wanted to say this guy is my best friend and I am going to show you exactly how to transfer because I have had people who can walk ask me if this is a table and ask me if this is put on my bed so I can lay on it which is a little bit weird because that even if I couldn't feel my entire back ow that that seems like it would get really uncomfortable really really quickly so let's go do that so to do this basically what you do is you come to the side always remember to lock your bricks because when you don't things go badly I've done this before and I'm very glad I've always had somebody with me to stop my wheelchair from moving otherwise I would have plopped on the ground and you're human something's gonna happen every once in a while but if you can always remember lock your brakes so what you do is you take your sideboard and if you have to wear a belt like I do because of my spasticity you unbuckle your belt but then you put board under your leg just enough so that when you scoot it stays and so then pretty much what you do is you hold on to this but watch out because your fingers can pinch and then you just go over like this I grab my hospital rail because I still use a hospital bed and then I slide over like this so once I'm in I pretty much put my arm well not my arm, my leg in the bed and then we do the other leg and then we scoot and we're in but then what we do is we slide this guy out so that's how I do in and then to get out of bed and I am laying down always keep your wheelchair near your bed especially if you don't have somebody lives with you because otherwise how the heck are you gonna get out so then I bring my arms up like this because honestly 
I try as hard as I can not to rely on the railing if I don't have to because the goal is for independence one day and to hopefully not have to use a hospital bed always. So then what I do is I slide my legs over, right? And then I come forward and you pretty much do the same thing. You take your slide board, you put it under you, make sure you have it enough under you so that when you grab the railing right, well the armchair right here, and you go over, you can get it out easily. Because if you don't, you might have trouble getting this board actually to come out. So then you grab right here, you slide, and you're in. And then you take out the board. I wiggle it because otherwise I would be kind of screwed. And then for me specifically, I well, so I can grab it. I grab my belt. I put it on. And then I'm good to go. Alright, I'll see you guys in one second. When it comes to paralysis, it really is just about finding what fits you and what works for you when it comes to mobility and adapting. And honestly, even after eight years, I'm still learning. I hope one day I will be able to do transfers without a slide board because it gives you a lot more opportunity. And I will be posting a little tab with a very, very good transfer sequence with two fellow paraplegics who, honestly, a little bit inspiration of mine because I think they're amazing. Uh, the one thing I do want to say though is that if you can't transfer without a slide board, it's okay. You just gotta basically go with the flow and work slowly or work at your own pace until you can do what you can. I'm paralyzed from about right here down and so it makes it to where I can't balance very well and my balance is my biggest problem when it comes to trying those independent transfers. When I move forward like this, I have to use my arms more when it comes to basically most things. I have to figure out how to keep my equi equilibrium, I believe the word is, <laughs> in order to understand what I'm doing. I also would like to say, if you see somebody with a wooden board or a curved plastic board, don't ask if it's a table. That is super awkward. <laughs> I, I got asked and I was just like, what is happening right now? <laughs> because I mean, it's an obvious, it's not actually an obvious question, and it's not an obvious thing because unless you live with a disability or know somebody that lives with a disability, obviously it could be a very common misconception. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you want to learn more about my disability, there's a playlist right here. If you like video games and you want to watch my Let's Plays, there's a video let's play list right there. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have a great day. Bye!